Hi and welcome to Martin Done Right. My name is Rui Nunes and uh, today I'm going to address uh, something that every email geek is the frantic uh, about and it's about the new iOS 15 software update which involves also a mail the protection privacy or something like that a feature that it's going to block somehow or mask the activity of the iOS users on emails so that means that all of the email opens that you are going to have are going to be very very messy and and that's because or they are prefetching the images and in that case it's going to make a false the positive of opens of the emails you are registering an open and nobody's seen it okay or in this case it could be something that uh, the people are seeing it are reading the email but it's not going to be measured so in this case <laughs> the bottom line is email opens is very inaccurate measure or metric that you have on your email marketing strategy or reports and this is something that it's completely not new okay it's not new it's something that for many many years more than 10 years it's already something that i'm saying every time please email opens it's not a very accurate metric because the people are already using a lot of blocking images in their email clients or email platforms or whatever they use to read emails. So if they are blocking images and we are measuring opens by a pixel tracking, which is an image, so it's not very accurate. So most of the times the email opens what we used to have was not very accurate because people were already reading the emails, but we were not measuring. So this is not something that we should be frantic about that it's uh, just a, a way for us to get used to, to the idea that email opens it's not a very accurate measurement so it's something that you should not care that much about the email opens but all of the other metrics yes it's something that you can still measure and it's very accurate or at least most of the times it's it's very accurate so it's a way for, for you to adapt all of your email strategies, email reports and tell your bosses, your uh, management team about the changes. But uh, quite frankly, it's not something that you should be very worried about. However, it's something that I want to address as well. It's about the, the marketing automation. If you are still using marketing automation flows with the trigger of an email open it's something that now it's going to be even worse in fact you shouldn't do that trigger about the email open because it's not as i mentioned for many years it's not a very accurate uh, the trigger situation for a marketing automation and you are already losing a lot of <laughs> of data and eventually uh, your marketing flow is broken because of that so it's something that you need to change that immediately if you haven't done so uh, so far the only thing that i'm asking you is to go back to all of the marketing automation flows everything that you have planned using email opens you should uh, go back and edit everything about that and change your flows to be more accurate in this uh, in this case so that's my point for today it's to address this the topic that it's trending and everyone is is talking about we already have discussed this with all of our clients and they are aware not by now but uh, for many years before that email opens it's not a very accurate measurement and it's not going to be ios 15 new software update that it's going to change that just a, a final note it's about uh, something that you should already have done this before it's to ask for your subscribers if they want you to track their emails or not because it's something that it was brought up by the gdpr in europe 
and uh, it's something that everyone is concerning about it that's why apple is introducing all of these privacy features in their ios it's for uh, the people that have this kind of concerns so what i'm asking you for is to please on the subscription form ask and, and give complete description on the privacy policy and everything about what you are gathering and the measurements that you are going to have and uh, my personal opinion okay it's not about uh, what every email marketing should do but my personal opinion and i'm influencing that on my company and everything that we are doing for our clients as well it's to be completely transparent about what you are asking about the the, the tracking that you are doing on email marketing and asking people if they are willing to give that information to us or not and that it's by having a checkbox for instance a differentiated uh, checkbox on the subscription forms asking if they want or not to uh, allow us to track their behavior on email marketing okay so that's something that i really uh, i think it's the best approach for the gdpr and other uh, regulations around the world about uh, data privacy and it's much more transparent for everyone. And if you are asking, okay, but uh, if they read the, pol the privacy policy, it's already there that we are going to the track everything. But uh, in fact, I don't believe so. It's the right approach. And, and why is that? It's because it's the same analogy. If you do, if you do this kind of analogy, it's, it's for instance, to deliver the emails, and to provide this service as an email martyr and, and to send messages by your brand to the subscribers, it's not necessary for you to track that, okay? It's not necessary for you to track the opens, uh, to track the clicks and so on. It's just the function of sending this email to someone else, okay? And it's not necessary for us to measure all of that. It's necessary for us to measure, yes, it's about the deliverability, the receipts about uh, if the inbox is full or not, or it's an invalid address or something like that, but it's technology-based. It's not necessary for the marketing. In this case, for the marketing, it's for the brand's interest, not the user's interest. So we need to have this kind of approach and place asking for their permission to track and and say why and it's for their own benefit as well on delivering the best personalized information and uh, and in this case you need to really do that what's happening it's most of the brands are asking for them to allow the tracking however you don't give anything back so you are not giving them the benefits of having all of that information. And the benefits are delivering better content, delivering personalized content that it's not, when I say about personalized, it's not placing the name there, okay? It's about delivering the best content you have for them based on the previous behaviors they have uh, done. Like for instance, if they like uh, bicycles or they like cars, it's something that you can measure. And then for the next uh, emails th that you are going to send, it's going to be based on their interests, okay? But the problem is that most of the email martyrs don't do that. They just ask for the data just to get the um, the nice graphics and to say, oh, we are getting this kind of target or whatever, but it's not f to deliver them better content. So it's not something that we are doing right and we need to change that, okay? So this is my view. I hope you like it. If you do, please like this video and share with your friends and, uh, and network. It's the only way to spread the message. So thank you again. And uh, I see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.